Today we're going to go over some of the items that we got during our Waco road thrift road trip that we uh, took this last weekend. My wife is uh, starting her online uh, shop. She's got both on uh, Bowhead uh, on Poshmark and at Bowhead and a bunch of other stuff on eBay. We'll try to have those links hopefully uh, below if you want to check out some of these items as well as other things that are in her closet. But we thought we would pull the uh, curtain back. We've watched a few of these videos from people that have had success. And we thought this would be a good way to not only show some of our things, but also kind of document uh, our whole trip along these uh, this from, uh, you know, beginning to hopefully what will be a successful uh, resale shop. So, um uh, first things first, uh, we stopped at a number of stores. We wouldn't be able to do them all in one uh, fail swoop. So this particular video is going to be aimed at our Goodwill outlet haul. This was uh, uh, one of those where you have the bins and you pile things in and then they weigh it at the end. And so this particular, uh, it was $1.49 per pound, which uh, when we uh, put up all the items and counted them out, including a couple that were stained and we just ended up uh, yanking because you're just grabbing things there. So sometimes you uh, roll the dice on a few things. We ended up with 38 items. And so after tax, each one of these items is roughly a dollar and 41 cents. So uh, if we can get to the neighborhood of $60, we've made our money back. And of course, we want to try to double, if not even possibly triple that. And we think that uh, we may have some items here that'll do it, but only time will tell. We'll come back with that. So without further ado, what did we get? Well, first thing we got was this uh, scarf uh, with the uh, skulls my wife thought would uh, maybe do well, not necessarily right this moment, but you know, skulls are always in, although it is not branded. Figured we'd probably be able to uh, find somebody that would want that for more than a couple of dollars at least. So um, this here uh, was uh, with a pretty good item. These are Duluth Trading Company. These are in particular the uh, fire hose. Uh, I believe, uh, you know, flex force fire hose or uh, so um, with that, uh, these uh, comp right around $20 or so after we get them cleaned up. Uh, so that would be good. Um, this was uh, Ralph Lauren, Lauren Jeans Company. These, I believe, are slim fit, a little bit of a retro, um, you know, uh, denim. You can tell the dog really likes it. Probably heard that in the background. Um, the next pair of denim we got were actually some signature Levi's. These are not necessarily um, particularly lucrative or anything, but for, you know, eight or nine dollars, pretty easy to turn those over. Uh, so we figured uh, in really good shape, uh, almost nowhere on the cuffs, things along those lines, good places to check. So we figured uh, that would be a good item for this particular haul. Um, Next one are some athletic pants. These have the snaps that go all the way up both sides. They come across this particular brand uh, has a little bit of a following. Uh, the Charles River Apparel, really heavy duty, good shape. So we think I uh, ought to be able to get an easy 10 to $15 for something like that. This was the one item we got that turned out to be new with tags. Um, this is a new approach. Uh, these are kind of like some night sleepwear kind of things. They've got the little, uh, you know, uh, you can see the, the detailing on, on the bottom uh, made out of a really lightweight uh, material. So we'll give uh, those a try. Now um, we get into our, uh, you know, the vest part of our whole haul. If uh, you like puns, this was our whole vest section. The first one being um, what may be a jacket that was cut or a uh, vest from uh, Levi. Again, that's a signature series, a little bit of a vintage feel to it. Um, figured it was a, a pretty good size, could go either way in terms of uh, unisex as far as that. This next one has a label that says denim jeans spelled with a U. We couldn't find anything on it, may do a little bit more work. You can see uh, riveted all around, you got the pockets in there, interesting cut, interesting size. So we thought that might be uh, worth uh, giving it a shot. Um, the last one was kind of a mistake. My wife did not exactly know this was a hunting vest. Um, now we get into some different apparel. The first one being some flare leg. These are, you know, flare or super wide leg. These are by um, a brand called uh, Yeah. I don't know if we can get close enough. You can see that just YA. Um, weren't really able to find a whole lot on them, but the, you know, they've got the ties. They're really, you know, done in a good way. I think people that enjoy these particular types of pants will appreciate uh, the options there. And so we'll see if it's so brand oriented. 
Speaking of brand, here's our Lane Bryant. Again, uh, we have a few items that go with this. Uh, my wife actually has a, a different approach. She's got a, well, I don't know if it's different from other people, but um, Poshmark is where she puts her more hip cutting edge. That's where our graphic tees will go. Uh, things along those lines. A couple other items that we'll show you as we get into this. Or she'll put things up on eBay and that's for our, you know, maybe some of the uh, the older clientele a little bit of a difference so that we have a specific theme. Um, so the people that come and check out her closet in Poshmark don't, you know, necessarily get tired of going through stuff that we don't think would be geared towards them. So we've got that separated out. We'll tell you how that kind of works out for us. But this Lane Bryant, this would probably be an eBay uh, skirt. You can see a uh, really long, full length, uh, that t-shirt kind of cotton material. So next ended up being probably unlabeled, uh, well, not probably is unlabeled, but a uh, really well made uh, kind of uh, Spanish feel. So we thought that might be uh, uh, something worth uh, getting just because it was put together so well. This next piece is a tag that we think is Mike. I don't know. It looks like MIC or that kind of strange, you know, weird bow tie kind of action, maybe HIC. Uh, unable to find any information on it as is. It's got this really good uh, embroidery. We thought that was really nice. It's got that Cuban kind of shirt look. This was our $1.40 uh, Ralph Lauren, just little uh, V-neck women's, uh, you know, polo pony shirt. We'll get that steam to clean up. That'll be great. A little bit of lace, a little bit of love, a little bit of t-shirt. We thought this was a really good size, good material, really, uh, you know, no flaws or signs of issues. Um, so we thought that would have a, a little bit of something go along with some of our other graphic choices. Um, this is a uh, crop top, you know, low neck cropped uh, little t-shirt. It's got, uh, you know, some birds on it, things along those lines. We thought, um, you know, uh, although it didn't have a specific tag, had a size tag, we thought that, that would be, uh, you know, worth getting on there. This next one was one of my finds. A couple things I'd like to share. This is a duck head, so, uh, you know, nothing too extravagant here. It's probably a $10 or $15 shirt um, on Poshmark or eBay. What I did want to point out is this type of knit um, uh, collar. You got a lot of these back in uh, some of the kind of retro uh, 90s, even early aughts. Uh, shirts and this is the one area that you'll really see wear out these will start to curl up um, you'll get some uh, wear back here you can see this collar though is in excellent shape the whole shirts in really uh, fantastic shape so a little big or it might even be something that I would have but if you like a you know I always like that duck head um, you know that was uh, big back in the day so retro vintage you know it's always coming back this is our maple clothiers, right? It was a maple clothing um, made in India out of a nice, you know, silk blouse. We thought that was a really uh, pretty color scheme and also really great, uh, you know, um, detailing great colors. It's got that nice kind of three quarter sleeve. So we thought that had a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. Um, this, although it needs to be steamed really badly, um, is uh, pretty cool. It's got the uh, embroidery on the front and the back. This is a Josephine Chow um, or Chouse or uh, however I am butchering that particular name. Y'all can uh, inform me down below. Of course, you just type it out and I really wouldn't know how it was pronounced even though some of you probably are good at you know typing out phonetics. But anyway, I think once we get this all uh, knocked out and uh, get all the wrinkles out of it, this one's going to be a really uh, good piece for us as well. Um, Gap, real heavyweight gap though. Um, you know, it's got all the, the big buttons. It's got the, the belt kind of look in the back. Uh, you can uh, see that. So we thought this was a you know, really good piece. It really didn't seem like it was worn very much and uh, definitely worth the dollar fifty. Oh snap, of course. Um, we thought uh, this had a variety of, you know, it's clearly sleepwear. It's from uh, Fifth Sun. This happens to be, you know, eight, $10. Um, a lot of their graphic tees and graphic kind of sweets. This is almost like a, a, a fleece uh, kind of a feel to it. So that's really neat. Um, wife wanted some overalls for the collection. So we got some overalls. These are full size. These are roundhouse made in the USA. Um, you know, the area we were thrifting in as relatively close to um, some rural communities. So might even be some of these straight from the farm. Although I don't think this one has ever seen a day of work in its life. You can see uh, when you've got cuffs like that, these probably are not working jeans. So um, 
And this next one's uh, everybody's favorite to say. This is Lolly Wally Doodle. Um, these are these kimono slash fitted dresses. There's a lot of different ways that uh, these are kind of classified. Very popular brand. This happens to be really um, a good timing because the Christmas trees of a variety of colors, not just your traditional red and green, but got some blues and some purples in there. Uh, might be a, a good one that we can get up and uh, get sold here pretty quick. Tis the season. Um, this next one was probably our uh, big find. If you want to talk about brand, this is actually Hegel, which is an anthropology brand. And so this tomato print dress in really great shape. It's got the side zippers, uh, you know, uh, here. Uh, it's got a, you know, this lace work there. So I got, you know, all the buttons, including the one special kind of rounded button you got here. You got some different looks on each one of these. So, uh, Kind of an interesting uh, feel. Thought that would uh, probably uh, be one of our more profitable ones off of here. At least going to be the one that goes towards definitely. This is a Poshmark, um, you know, listing uh, for that for for anthropology. This we're debating on. We think that it may or may not have originally come uh, with the trial. We kind of figure this would be a really good kind of a cover up throw on. It's just a light cotton kind of throw. It's called um, you know upside down. No this side up this this came with care instructions but we've got this zero idea on a brand but we thought it was just a really cool vintage piece it's that canvas kind of feel it's got these front pockets uh built in kind of a nice little you know dress uh goes both sides uh you know cool little cuffs so we thought this would be uh you know the colors were right and uh you know definitely price was right so this was an accident. We don't do kids clothes. So um, this turned out to be something from XXI or 21 for all the Romans in the house. Um, so don't know what exactly we're gonna do with that one yet, but it was in here. So, which brings us to our next three pieces. These are what my wife would call wearable art. They definitely have some followings in terms of their brand. This would be stuff that you will find out more on eBay if you're interested. This first one is a Sharon Young and you can see like uh, why it was hard to pass up. This is not necessarily our style in terms of uh, something I would go wear or my wife would wear in terms of all the uh, country scene and so forth. But you can see the embroidering, the amount of work that it took to put this together and this material. Um, a lot of this is, you know, very raised and, uh, you know, as well as, it, you know, hand, I don't think hand stitched, but a lot of it, you know, pretty elaborate for what it is. And so we think that that will, uh, you know, could bring us a, a nice uh, penny on uh, eBay. This one, again, uh, not necessarily our style, but we thought the colors and the craftsmanship alone, really good. This happens to be an Estefanie's. Um, so we'll see uh, how that plays out again. That would be one of our uh, eBay listings. And then this Lisa International woman, huh, you know, this one is uh, one of my favorites just because it's got a kitty on it. You can see the kitty down there. You see the paw prints on the side beating uh, for the toes. You might be able to kind of see that. You got the kitty cat up here on the shoulder. Uh, if you get if you get this collar out of the way and then comes around onto the back as well and the other one uh, on the back that's down here towards the bottom the uh, fur collar can actually be buttoned off uh, so thought this would be a really neat piece uh, for uh, a number of people that enjoy panthers or kitties you know it's made out of panther so you know it's you know it's good so next bit we've got uh, into our vintage uh, coats first one is a, uh, this is a Panhandle Slim. Uh, see, these go uh, pretty, they have a, a somewhat of a following, pretty basic lick. It's got the, uh, it does have the, the country bow across the back. Got a couple of those. This uh, next one that happens to be Pioneer Wear. Again, another vintage uh, jacket with, uh, again, it's also got uh, the wear on the back. And so I know this is very hipstery, um, as well as, you know, some updated millennials and then those that want to, live blast from the past so we're hoping that will be uh, the area that, that will come in handy from so and then our last one we almost passed on but uh, after a quick look into uh, the brand which is uh, McGregor I don't know if you can make that out there we found out that these also some pretty classic vintage uh, blazers that people enjoyed this Dr. Pepper 
uh, something that, uh, you know, big fans here in Texas, uh, Dr. Pepper bottling, things along those lines. This is uh, athletic. It's the fur interior kind of uh, varsity style jacket uh, made out of wool. So that'd be good. Then we have a little bit of a windbreaker here. Um, again, uh, not necessarily a superly hot brand, but, you know, really good material. Um, you know, uh, also is the full zip, which uh, preferred to like the partial zips. Um, and in really good shape, so we thought that would be a good one. Again, uh, back to our uh, classical kind of look. This is actually a pea coat with belt. You can see that it's got the, the belt uh, that goes around with it. Um, it's got the uh, double buttons. It's got a full on detailing on the back also, you know, with the little hood button and things along those lines. So thought that was in really good shape. No flaws, no holes, no issues. So. Again, that's a uh, Morona we thought was worth taking a hit on. And then our final one turns out to be from the put-on shop. This is a uh, classic vintage Sears and Roebuck, uh, really heavy fur-lined uh, corduroy. Uh, saw a few of these comped out around $30, $40. So we're thinking we might be able to get something in the neighborhood there, especially this time of year. So hopefully, uh, you know, we uh, found some things here that are going to be able to make us our money back and then some. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or anything that we maybe missed or any kind of resources you'd like to share, uh, list them down below and uh, we'll just kind of keep moving forward. Hopefully uh, we can get all into this together. There's plenty of thrift stores out there, plenty of people that want to buy clothes. Hopefully plenty of us resellers can find a way to make it successful. So thanks again and look forward to seeing you soon.